G'day guys, number 41, pencil box. Uh, this is the first uh, drawing after the, you know, just um, practice joinery activities and after the um, just regular drawing exercises. Um, this is the first one before we start actually getting into drawing some proper woodwork projects, ones that you'll probably even make in the workshop at some point. Um, so I reckon after, you know, doing all of these practice ones, which you should have done by now, um, you should have all the skills you need to pretty well get going and do all of these by yourself. Um, like this one's pretty easy. Um, they get a little bit more complex as we go and they get a bit tricky when it comes to here. So if you can, you know, if you can do them without the videos, that's great. Uh, but if you get stuck at any point, just come back to the videos and, um, you know, we'll work through it together. So first thing, I'll just zoom in on this a little bit so we get a bit more detail. Perfect. So uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll put in the side piece, this one here. Um, we can see it's 70 millimeters high and here we go, all timber for sides is 70 by 12, right? So all the timber used in this box for all the side pieces is 70 millimeters high by 12 millimeters wide, okay? So let's put in a piece of 70 by 12. We'll grab the rectangle tool over here and we'll put in 12,70 center. There's that piece. Oh, hang on, no, Oop, my mistake. I need to put in a piece that is 12,250. 12,250. And I need to push it up by 70. 70, right? So we can see that this piece here, 70 millimeters high, 12 millimeters thick, and 250 millimeters long, right? That's that side piece over here. So again, just like we were doing in all the joinery exercises, we need to, every time we're drawing woodwork projects, make things into components. So we triple click, right click, make it a component, create, okay? And then we need to make sure we double click so we're actually in the component when we're in, when we're editing it. So the only thing we're going to need to do to this is put in a little groove for the lid to go in, the sliding lid, that little slide back and forth. And the information about that is here. Um, the groove for the lid is six millimeters from the top, six millimeters deep. Okay. So we don't actually know the width of the groove, but it tells us here. The plywood for the base and lid is three millimeters thick. Okay. So that piece of plywood is three millimeters in thickness. That means that groove is going to need to be three millimeters in thickness. Now, when you're making this in the workshop, your teacher will run this piece of timber through the table saw and put that groove in there for you. And the table saw blade is pretty close to three millimeters wide. But uh, to do that, we need to go six millimeters from the top. So we measure down six millimeters and then six millimeters deep. So we need to go in six millimeters with the tape. And then it's three millimeters thick, so through or wide. Right, so we've got those marks now. We may as well just finish it off. Six. There we go. That's the groove we need to remove. But we can do that just with the rectangle tool. Could use the pencil tool if you want. Uh, we've done that. Perfect. So now let's click on that. Click once and push it all the way through to the back. Okay. Then we can see we've got a groove all the way through that piece of timber. And that is perfect. Okay. So we could, if we wanted, draw the next piece. Um, or, you know, we could use some of the tricks we've learned before and we could just make a copy. So first thing we need to do before we make a copy is figure out where we're going to place it. So from corner to corner over here is 124 millimeters, right? So the pencil box is 124 millimeters wide. So from there to there is 124 millimeters. So when we make a copy of this, the outside edge needs to line up with this guide point. So we will select that component. We'll grab the move tool, we press control, and then we're in the copy uh, function. Click on that bottom corner, and we can move it across. Now, before we place it on the dot, I'll just click here, then we can right click it, and we can flip it along. And again, I always just guess here, because I never know which one to do. Let's go red. Perfect, red axis, first time. Um, grab that bottom corner now, and drag it to that guide point. Okay, so that bit there is done. Now, you just need to keep in mind, um, with this, we don't need to actually do anything more to these side pieces, but in other projects, we may need to. And if I go into this component here and start moving it around, see it does it to both pieces, right? If we don't want that to happen, I'll just exit the component. We need to right click and make it unique. Then if I went into it and needed to edit this piece individually, I can do it by itself and it won't affect the other piece. Okay, so just keep that in mind. For now, you can just leave them the same. So the We'll go to the back piece now. The back piece is going to be 12 millimeters wide. Um, it's, the piece isn't going to be 124 millimeters long because it's 124 millimeters 
from outside edge to outside edge. But remember, we need to take into account the thickness of the timber. So there's 12 millimeters of thickness here and 12 millimeters of thickness there, which adds up to 24, which means this piece of timber will be 100 millimeters long. So if I go into the drawing, swing around to the back, I can go on the deck here, click on this point, and we're going along this way, and we're going to put in 100, 12. Okay, and that should give us a rectangle from edge to edge. Perfect. We'll push it up 70 millimeters so we can hover over that point there. And that's that done. We will need to put in a groove in the back piece at the exact same um, spot as that so the plywood lid can actually slide into there. So to do that, uh, what's going to be the easiest way? First thing, triple click, make component, create, done. So now we can double click on it. We can zoom in a little bit. And because we've already got the lines there, we don't need to measure anything. We can just grab the line tool, go from that intersection to that intersection, and then from this bottom intersection to there. Right? So they're three millimeters apart. We just need to push it six millimeters in. So push it that way, press six, enter, and that's that groove done. Okay? Now, that's that back piece done. We can see the grooves all line up. That's pretty good. So this front piece. We actually, it's going to be the same type of timber. It's um, it can be 70 by 12, but we're going to be cutting it off at the groove so that the lid can actually get in. So it's basically the exact same way um, we did the other one. Uh, so we put in a piece of 100,12. We're going to push it up, but this time we're only pushing it up to the bottom of the groove. We don't need to go all the way to the top. We're just going to there. All right, so we've got a piece of timber in there, and the lid can slide in nice and easy. So triple click, make it a component, and create. Fantastic. Okay, so there's all those pieces done. Next thing to do, uh, we could do the lid, but we might save that to the end because I'll show you a little bit about customizing the lid handle. So the base is just going to be some three millimeter thick plywood. So if we orbit underneath, so we can look from the underside, we'll go here, grab the rectangle tool. All we need to do is click corner to corner. That'll put a big rectangle in. We're going to push it down three millimeters. This is a three millimeter thick base, and we can just triple click on that, right click, make it a component, and then that's the base done. Okay. Um, now for the actual lid, uh, there's a few different ways we could do it, uh, but I think the easiest way would be to just go from this corner here with the rectangle tool, go to that corner there, and that puts in sort of the front profile of the lid, and then we can push it all the way. Uh, this is where it might get a little bit confusing or tricky. We can push it to this edge here, uh, which is at 238 millimeters. So don't click just yet. If we hover over that, we can see it's at 238, but it also needs to go six millimeters in to that piece because we've got the six millimeter groove. So we just do a little bit of math. 238 plus six is 244. Enter, and then that piece will be right into that groove. Okay, so we're gonna. Triple click on the lid, right click, make component, and create that component. Okay, fantastic. So just quickly give it a little paint job so we can start seeing the different pieces. The sides are all going to be pine, and then the lid and the base are going to be out of plywood. Okay, so that's looking pretty good so far. We'll just double check the lid that so it slides properly. We click on here, hold down shift, and we can see that it's sliding in there perfectly. It's going into the groove, meeting at the front. That's good stuff. Okay, so when you actually make your pencil box, um, the information given here, it says you can customize the lid handle. Okay, so there's all sorts of different things you can do. Generally, your teacher will get you to um, grab a bit of scrap wood and you know you can draw a pattern on it, you can do your initials. Um, I know some people like to use the off cut that they cut off of this front piece here and put it in. So like this, uh, we go 100, 12 push this up by uh, six mil, I think it'll be. Yep. And click that, make component, paint it like pine. So some people do that. That way, when you're looking at it, it just kind of looks like a box. So it's almost like a secret box. You don't know that there's anything, well, you don't know that it's a lid. Um, I'm not a big fan of doing that. I prefer to sort of customize it. So you can, you know, use any of the tools that you want. Um, you could use, you know, the polygon tool over here to draw a hexagonal. Um, lid pull, right? Um, 
or there's a cool function, which sometimes takes a little bit to get the hang of. We've got this 3D text function. If we click on that, what we can do is, um, I'll just go maybe AM for my initials. I can highlight them, pick a font that I like. I'm not gonna go too in depth into that now. Probably something thick would be better. So maybe Playbill. Uh, and then here we just, uh, the, this is the tricky part, getting these numbers right, the height, the two heights here. I'll just place it and see what it looks like. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, that's just about the size that you want. Um, so that was 42 and 19. Was it? Yeah, 42 and 19. Um, sometimes you may need to play around. I believe this bottom number is the thickness of it. So like actually how thick the piece of timber would be. So from the top of that letter A there to the bottom, that's 19 mil. And the 42 millimeters is the, I guess, the length of the letter. So from the bottom of the A to the top of the A over there. Um, so you can play around with those if you want it to be a bit bigger. So I might want this to be 50 millimeters and I might want to do it out of a piece of 12 mil material. So I can place that and put it on the face in component six, right? And then we've got our, you know, our draw pool there. Um, so I can paint that as well, just paint it fine. And there we go. Right, so you can customize yours, make it whatever you want. Feel free to practice, or you know, practice with any of these tools, and customize your um, your lid pull. One thing I would recommend doing is once you've done it, click on the um, your lid pull, and then hold down Shift and click on your lid, then right click and make it a group. Right now, these two are going to be together. That way, if you know if you're going to use this drawing in future, you can slide this and you, um, draw, you, you know, they're connected. It's just like you've glued the two together, right? Just another little trick, make those two a group. Okay, so that is the pencil box done. Great work, guys. Um, so we'll just quickly save that. We go file, save, and we put it in uh, pen activities folder, number 41, 41 pencil box. Okay, so the next drawing is a little nail tray where we're gonna actually do, be doing some rebate joints and stuff like that. Um, so we'll go file new, so we're ready for that, and I'll see you in the next video. Good work, guys.